Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. Today we are checking out the All Powers S300. It is a 300 watt, 288 watt hour, 78,000 milliamp, pure sine wave, portable power station. It measures in at 206 millimeters by 111 millimeters by 165 millimeters and comes in at a weight of 3.4 pounds so it is pretty easy to carry around and comes with a flip out handle with orange silicone grips under the handle that provides a solid grip and it also doubles as a friction lock when it is closed which is really nice and tight but there is no groove for to grip the handle to open it. So you could actually break a nail. This thing is so tightly closed. It should have a groove. On the top, we have a wireless 5 volt 2.1 amp QI charger to charge your phone. Now the placement of the phone needs to be sort of to the left side and not in the middle for it to work. And the DC power needs to be turned on. In the front, we have two 110 volt, 50 hertz, combined 300 watt AC output ports. We have two built-in emergency LED lights with a switch for each one. Now, you can press any of these buttons to wake up the power supply or the power station. And then you can short press to power on the LED lights short press the power off which is really nice next we have the bluetooth power button long press to power on the bluetooth next we have the dc power button short press to power it on next we have the ac power button long press to power it on conversely to power everything off long press the ac button to power off now you need to wake up the power station first and then short press the dc button to power off and wake up the power station again and long press the bluetooth button to power off bluetooth we have the lcd display screen with the bluetooth indicator time before it depletes the battery or time before it is fully charged the usb the DC and the AC power indicators, battery level and the percentage left remaining in the power station, the fan indicator and the wattage in or out indicator. The Bluetooth phone app is called the All Powers Phone App, a free downloadable app in the App Store. It detects the power station as the S400 in the beginning instead of the S300, but once they are connected, it identifies the device as S300, and it works really well. It basically tells you the percentage of charge that is remaining, the input wattage, the output wattage, and you can turn on the AC, DC, and the USB output ports remotely from your phone. How cool is that? And you can turn the LED lights on and off as well, but both at the same time, not individually, like you are able to manually. And you need to stay near the device, just like any Bluetooth connected devices. You can also add more all powers devices and monitor all devices with just this one phone app. On the left side, we have some input ports we have the Anderson input port and the 5521 barrel connector input ports to connect to a solar panel or to your car's cigarette lighter port. The cables, however, are not provided. We also have a 12 volt, five amp a cigarette lighter output port and some ventilation grills. So on the right side, we have the output ports. We have the two 5525 12 volt, five amp output ports. And no, the 5521 connectors 
will not work here. So the input port on the other side is 5521, and the output port on this side is 5525. Perhaps it is to prevent you from trying to charge via the output ports with the 5521 connector on the charge cable. We have three USB-A 5 volt 3M output ports and one dual use type C input slash output port with up to 60 watts in or out. So there's four ways to charge with the provided AC charge cable, solar power charging with the built-in MPPT charge controller, car charging via the cigarette lighter port, and via the USB-C port, all of which will take about four to six hours, but you can combine them for a super fast two to three hour charge time, which is really nice if you are in a hurry as long as you don't exceed 140 watts total input. So nothing in the rear, rubber footing on the bottom and some ventilation and also ventilation on the sides as well. And there is a cooling fan inside on the left side, which comes on when the AC output power is turned on. So one of the features that I like the most in this power station is that it can charge and discharge at the same time. So even with solar panel charging, you can have it plugged in and be charging your drone batteries at the same time. And with the phone app or via the LCD display screen, you can monitor the charge status. So I've had this power station for a few months now and it is my favorite power station. The handle stays open, so it doesn't bother me that it doesn't have a groove, and I can still charge my phone. So I solar charge this thing and use it all the time. It is pretty good with a 50 watt solar panel, but it is excellent with a 100 watt solar panel. So you can buy this power station right now for $168 and with a $40 clip coupon, it is just $128. That is pretty good for a 300 watt power station. Now you can also get a combo deal right now with this S300, the 288 watt hour power station and a 100 watt portable solar panel all for just $229, which is a really good deal. And with 288 watt hours, you can power up to a 288 watt device or combination of devices for one whole hour. And with a 100 watt solar panel, you can put back 100 watts in one hour right back into the power station. And also you can get the bigger S700 with 606 watt hour, 700 watt power station for just $299 right now. It has the same features like the S300 here and can charge and discharge at the same time and has up to 700 watts of power. That will be really nice to have since you can use it especially while it is solar charging. And you don't need a charge controller or anything because the MPPT charge controller is built in. So if you want to check out the All Powers S300 or the S700 or the combo deal, the links to them are down below in the video description. So I thank you so much for tuning in and watching. Have a great day and we'll see you again next time.